everyone, welcome back to Liberty Life by Lisa. So today is mid-November and there are a few things that I like to do in mid-November. One, my husband puts up the Christmas lights and although we don't turn them on, at least they're up before one, any snow falls usually in the lower mainland in Vancouver, BC here. We don't see snow quite yet if we do get snow. So before the temperatures drop too much, he likes to get up and put those lights on. Uh, number two, I get wrapping supplies, gift cards, I buy those. Most years I have always put out a Christmas card with a newsletter and I've been doing that since my kids were little. Um, the other thing that I love to do, and some years I just let it bypass, but I plant amaryllis, and I love amaryllis um, blossoms. For one, one stem comes up, sometimes two stems come up from each plant, and, and it's just exciting to watch a plant grow, and it's fairly quick. Once they start shooting the, their stem off, um, it's fairly quick, and it's almost a, a daily and certainly a weekly uh, change that you notice. This year, I'm going to unbox with you. Um, I have three varieties of the amaryllis. So let's unbox this amaryllis. Um, what I have, and I, now for this portion, I'll sit down here. Okay, let's push this out of the way just a bit. So let's look at this one. This is called Red Lion. So they come like this. Oh, this one I've already cracked into. So let's get a fresh one because I'll show you exactly. These are actually from the Loblaws group in, in Canada. They are um, President's Choice. Uh, and you can, get, you can get amaryllis at any really garden center this time of year. And they all collect them. I think these were about $10. Uh, a piece so um, that's kind of the, the going rate I think for amaryllis it makes a lovely gift like if you did get someone this for Thanksgiving it's well American Thanksgiving it would be a little bit late to plant it but I think that some of the growth uh, periods for different varieties of amaryllis are, are different so you can get them because um, I recall one coming up fairly quickly but it was a tinier variety this here, look at this, it's already coming up. The stem is, is trying to shoot up, so this one will be fairly fast then once we get it started. The root system, and the nice thing about this is you can actually keep them year to year. Uh, I made a mistake, I had about five that I had, I had dusted them on the dirt off and kept them, and for some reason I thought that that's how you stored them. But when I pulled them out this year, uh, yeah, they were very dry and very dead and hollow inside the bulb. So I went, and that's why I purchased new ones, because there's no way I would have been able to bring those back. So this, this little kit here comes with a pot and a little puck. And this puck is a puck of fiber. And it suggests that you put um, this puck in three and a half cups of warm water and it is um, a fiber medium that will absorb water and and you put it you put the plant part way you plant the plant part way down leave the top up and um, and this fiber so no soil which is nice oh look at this the cat is up on the table which he's not supposed to be so this is also red lion so here I'm just going to take the I will keep the pots, recycle the boxes. I'll keep these for use in the garden. So those are both the red, I better not mix them up. Those are both the red lions. This is beautiful, it's called Minerva. And just, oh dear, it's got a beautiful um, white center. Um, so it's slightly and then uh, variegated with a red edge, which is so pretty. So red lions there, and this one, Minerva. Okay, do that. This pot we'll keep over there. Recycle that. 
So there's Minerva. So a little bit tinier of a bulb compared to the, the broader bulb. So that may mean that this could get two stalks. The bigger the bulb, the, the it's tied to at times, depending on, the, I guess, the variety, um, how many stalks that you could get coming out of this. So I could actually get two, two stalks from these ones and maybe just one of this. But that's kind of the fun part of amaryllis. You just never, you're never quite sure what you're going to, what you're going to get. And it's part of the, the fun of growing. So this one's the same, and the pot is over there. Recycle that. Excuse me, Pepe, what are you doing? And I'll let you get away with it because I'm doing this. So these are paper whites, and paper whites are so pretty and also um, really remind me of the Christmas season. They're such a nice um, little flower, and from what I recall, they, they uh, smell very nice. So I thought with my idea was having the, the dark red and the around the, the variegated white and red, and then having the paper whites in between. And there's four, so maybe I'll do, oh, th these look very healthy. Maybe a, this actually, this one doesn't look that healthy. It doesn't have, these all have um, some stalks coming out of them but maybe I'll just do one in front because this is a smaller, smaller bulb. So let's get started. Should we, Pepe? Okay, so to protect my large vessel here, I was on the hunt for a shell, uh, a little protecting, and I came across this at a set sale that I was at. So that's gonna work out just perfect because when I put it in, and I put it in, it's just gonna protect the bottom. And the beautiful thing about this um, planting is you only put the dirt up just to, just below the neck, so like this, just up to about here of the plant. So two thirds of the way up. So let's, let's get started. So I have put that uh, those pucks and the water and I let them soak for half an hour and you get this. It's like a, oh, oopsie. It's almost like a soil type. It's very strange, but no smell. So that's good. And I'm using this tool so I can kind of squeeze out the water. But this, I could see this working well because of the instant moisture that it's going to give and provide those plants. Okay, so I've just put a bottom down, protector, uh, right, kind of just laid it down. Maybe I'll bring over my iPhone to show what I've done so far. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good. I'm so excited. Oh. Well, this worked out well because I just put that extra paper white in the uh, center, which is gonna be pretty. And if they get too tall, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a beautiful black satin or white satin ribbon around, depending on, I think, or maybe white satin. I usually do the dining room in kind of a winter white, snow, crystals kind of theme. The white and the gray and crystal, because it is kind of all white and gray already. So it just kind of adds, and I put crystals on the dining room window, which I'll show you this year, is uh, Pepe. What are you doing? Don't. He's <laughs> a brat. He's a brat. Hmm? Okay, so that is planted. So, and what I think I'm going to do is I will, on Instagram, 
I'll show you, I'll keep you, I'll maybe do a, in my story every Monday or something, I'll, I'll do a um, update, which would be kind of fun. So um, to make this look quite beautiful, you put some um, forest moss, French moss, whatever. Like the, the French moss is more of a beige color. So if you're, um, I can see like a, a farmhouse, modern farmhouse looking quite beautiful with the French moss because of the, the tone of the, and the color. But I think this will be quite beautiful with the red and the white and then this kind of a green, which will be pretty. I'm letting you get away with this, Pepe, because I'm working and not, this isn't an eating spot right now, right? And I don't want you to be playing with this. This isn't a toy, this French, this moss, okay? He's gotten into it in my other plants. So just pull it apart, tuck it in and around. Okay, just loosen it because it's packaged for shipping, but you want to loosen it to make it look quite nice. There you have it. And maybe I'll just put a little bit more on. Okay, that's it for this video. And like I said, it'll be fun to, to watch it grow in my Instagram feed and uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've inspired you to go and get even just one. And, and really, if you've never grown one, like I showed you, they usually do come with a little pot. The, you don't even need dirt because they come with their own little fiber puck or this, um, this one at least did. And all I have to do is once a week, give this a, a drizzle of water and I won't even do it until at least a week because, and you can stick your finger and feel the moisture and you'll see the magic. Okay, thanks everybody. See you next time.